Hello, beautiful souls. I'm going to talk about psychic scammers. Um, there's lots of them out there. Uh, and I'm going to talk about some of the common uh, scams that, that I keep hearing about uh, when I work with people. Um, just because somebody is a psychic does not mean that they use their abilities for good or that they use their abilities to help people. Just because somebody can pick up on some energy around you and may try to groom you um, with a free reading or by giving you some information, that doesn't mean that they're connected to to uh, white light energy, that they have any abilities as a healer, and that they have any um, intentions other than uh, uh, benefiting financially. Um, a common scam that's going around is a candle scam. It's rampant. I'm not sure why so many people are falling for this, but I'm going to describe it. Um, you know, as somebody that tells you, oh, you've got some dark energy around you, or there's a curse on your family, or there's something wrong with your chakras, or you have a hole in your aura. Um, and I have a candle that I can use that will clear that. And often these candles can be, you know, 500, 1,000, uh, thousands, uh, ten thousands, and they'll tell you that there's some sort of ritual that they have to do or some sort of work that they have to do, and they'll they'll hit people up for as much as $50,000 for this, quote, work. Uh, they're not doing anything. They're just preying upon your fear and, and creating some fake uh, uh, concept of a curse and some fake concept of a ritual and, and making you think that they can fix you. Um, if you're having some bad luck, that doesn't mean that it's a curse. And I'm going to get into that a little bit. Um, also, if someone solicits you without you asking them, like if you get random DMs from people and they may um, try to groom you a little bit, maybe they know some, some information about you because they've snooped on your page or they may actually have some psychic abilities. They'll often hit you up with, oh, I picked up this. I thought that I should share this with you and you know, once they sort of get your trust, they'll hit you up with, oh, and there's more. There's some dark energy around you, but in order for, for me to clear that, it's going to be $500,000, $5,000, $10,000. Run, hit the block button. Don't pay these people any time or energy or money. Um, another thing is the, uh, the return your twin flame scam. There's people that call themselves twin flame readers that say they can do some sort of ritual or perform some uh, sort of energy work or have a candle that they can light that's going to return your twin flame. If your twin flame doesn't want to come back, they're not coming back. There's th no third party person can force somebody's twin flame to come back. You're much, and what they're doing is preying upon that person's grief and loneliness and an inability to sort of move on. Even if somebody is your twin flame, if, uh, either of the two parties have not aligned and there's some, some toxic tendencies going on. The relationship is not destined to be, it's not a, um, a life sentence. It's an ideal situation. But if, again, one of the two of the parties are not connected and don't want to continue the connection. Uh, it, it, it's not going to manifest and no psychic can return that or change that. Um, and they'll also use other tactics though. You know, the, they'll, and often with the candle scam, I hear this a lot too, they'll sell you a candle and then, um, you know, after a week of their work and watching this candle burn and meditating or whatever the hell they tell you they're doing, which they're not even doing, um, a, a couple of weeks later, they'll hit you up with, oh, it, the curse or the energy is heavier than I thought. We need to do another service. But this candle's four feet tall. And this one's going to be $4,000. It's going to take two weeks. And then, again, they'll hit you. If you The longer you'll, you'll keep feeding into that, they'll hit you up. I, you know, I've heard of the six foot and then the 10 foot candles. Who the hell is making a 10 foot candle? I mean, come on, people. And then to tell someone that they got to pay him 10 grand to watch this candle burn so that they can clear their energy. Nobody else can clear any energy away from you. We are all masters of our own energy. Quit giving away your power and quit letting people use your fear to manipulate you. They'll often um, also try to sell you these ritual kits or oils or, uh, you know, whatever these items are that, that you need to have this curse or this dark energy removed. I had somebody, uh, this scammer sent her a shoebox of random 
junk. Look, I, some of the things are a couple of rose petals, some gemstones, um, a little notebook, uh, you know, a bunch of random stuff that, you know, $25 at, at like the dollar store. <laughs> um, and she hit her up for $2,500 for this box, which of course didn't hold any power and didn't do anything to change her life. Um, so if you're connecting to a psychic and they keep going back to the fear tactic and telling you that you have to do this in order to be okay and they're the only ones that can save you and you have to strictly follow their instructions and you should have no contact with any other psychics. They're trying to isolate you and use that fear to keep you wrapped up in that. Now, here's the thing about curses. If I believed in the power of curses and I believed that other people could, could exert energy on, on others against their will, I wouldn't be posting this content on social media where hundreds of thousands of people um, can connect to my energy and see that I'm sharing this message. I'm not afraid of that energy because uh, we are masters of our own energy and there's no dark energy that white light cannot dissipate and remove. Um, and the thing about, you know, using the term curse, if someone, if someone's having bad luck and you're sharing your details with a scamming psychic and there's some challenges in your life, they'll often tell you, oh, you're having this bad luck because it's a curse. Um, what it actually is, um, 99.9% .9 of the time is, um, when we have bad luck, it's the universe trying to let us know that we could make some other decisions so that we can find more fulfillment in our life. That may mean that you need to realign in some way. You might need to look at the relationships you're pouring your time into. You might need to look at your job. You might need to look at how you're managing your money. You might need to look with, uh, you know, at, at what you're pouring your time, energy, and attention into. If we get so hung up on thinking that we uh, have to have X, Y, and Z to be happy, and the universe keeps slamming those doors, that could simply mean that you're meant for A, B, and C. When doors slam shut, that doesn't mean that you did something wrong. It means that there's another door that is meant for you. The universe is healing. The universe wants us to win. Just because you're having bad luck, it's not a curse. And if uh, you tell yourself that you have a curse, you're going to believe that. And then what that does is it makes you uh, perceive yourself as the victim, uh, makes you feel that you're not empowered, that you don't have control over changing your life. Everybody has control over their own life, their choices, and their energy. Um, of course, bad things do happen, and that doesn't mean that we deserve, you know, all bad things that happen. But, you know, when there's situational things or, or shifts in our life that, you know, keep popping up and we perceive them as blockages. It, it, you, it's often a, a sign that you may need to, to reevaluate what it is you're trying to do with your time and energy, what it is, how, how it is you're trying to manifest the things that you do want. Um, if you think you have bad luck because it's a curse, you're not going to do any of that work and you're just going to keep playing the role of victim. Um, I'm so adamant about talking about this because I'm a psychic and I'm a medium and I'm a healer, but I am a healer first. I, uh, understand that I only have these abilities because spirit blessed me with them. And I, I am very deliberate to use my abilities, A, to serve spirit and B, to help people with healing. Um, not everybody has those ethics. So just because someone's psychic, it doesn't mean they're actually there to help you. Um, and I, you know, I, I do, uh, charge for one-on-one -on -one sessions. My fees are very, very reasonable. They're often around 10 to 25% what these scammers are charging. And I'm actually giving actually helpful information, information to help with healing, um, information about soul lessons, uh, information to help people transcend. You know, I do expend tremendous energy in private sessions. So there does have, have to be a reciprocal flow of energy but I, I, I keep my prices very reasonable. I get people tell me all the time I should charge three, four more times when I'm charging. I'd rather help more people than earn more money. And I, you know, don't want to price myself out of the range of, of what, you know, the average person can afford. Um, so I hope you found this, this um, helpful. I, I hope that the person that needed this message is able to watch this video. Don't pay any time, energy, or money into these scammers. Don't believe it. We are all masters of our own energy.